Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about tissue expanders and how we put saline into tissue expanders postoperatively. As you can see here, this is a standard tissue expander and it's uh, basically a soft uh, plastic and right here it has a port. This port is a, basically a piece of metal and the port communicates with, inside, with the inside of the tissue expander. In the operating room, this is placed under the pectoralis muscle and you can fill it in with variable amounts of saline depending on how large you want to make the breast, at least initially. The skin is sealed over it and sutured up, but how do we access this tissue expander once it's under your skin? Well, the tissue expander comes in a kit with a little magnet like this, and the magnet uh, is able to turn on a little stem. And if this is under your skin, you move the magnet over the tissue expander, and if you can see this, moving as you go over the metal. This, uh, in, in effect, can find this port while it's under your skin. Once we find it, we mark your skin, and it comes with a little butterfly needle like this. The butterfly needle goes through your skin and into the port, and we're able to inject saline directly into the tissue expander. It's relatively painless. Most uh, ladies don't feel the uh, prick of this needle at all. And the, you can feel the, once it hits the back of the port, it, a metal solid feel so you know exactly where you're at. We typically perform uh, probably two to three insufflations on uh, ladies after uh, initial breast reconstruction. And this blows up to get to the size we want and then we move on with the second stage of breast reconstruction. So that's the basics on tissue expanders and how they work and how we insufflate uh, them with saline after the operating room. Thanks.